kick that high, but just sway back. Ooh, and drop your left arm and your side so yep. here. Yep. Sway back. Switch kick. I got the gene of the warrior going in a fight mode. Never sleep, never keep my eyes closed. I, I, I got something to prove, and I, I, I got nothing to lose. I'm dangerous, I got the warrior gene. I'm dangerous, I got the warrior gene. I'm dangerous, got the warrior gene. I'm dangerous, I got the warrior gene. Hi, I'm Ron Pram, and this is Warrior Gene. On each episode, we interview a different combat sports coach. They answer questions, they give advice, they teach us five training drills and five techniques. On today's show, we have Don Miller from Superfight Gym. Welcome to the show, Don. Thanks very much, mate. So how old were you when you first started training? I was 21 when I first got into it. Okay, and what got you into it? Uh, I was a bit of a scallywag growing up in New Zealand, and um, you know, I just found Muay Thai around 21 years old and started training, and I was fighting five months later. What are some of your accomplishments? Uh, I've fought in uh, Japan, I uh, fought in Thailand, in Bangkok, um, in Australia, and New Zealand, and in 97, I, uh, oh sorry, 90, yeah, 97, I won the Australian ISKA featherweight title. Uh, I fought in Rajan Stadium in Bangkok, I um, fought in Japan twice, and uh, yeah. Training drill number one. Jab cross, elbow, uppercut elbow, then we're going to angle off and throw a right kick. What got you into coaching? Coaching, uh, I always loved training people from day one, even though I was getting trained myself with my trainers and fighting. I just loved it and I knew eventually that I was going to be a trainer once I retired from fighting. Training drill number two. Next drill is double left switch kick, right cross switch kick. And what's your best memory in combat sports? My best memory would probably be uh, going to Thailand the first time and, and fighting in Bangkok. Right. Training drill number three. Jab, uppercut, T. So what's something you always tell your students? Uh, tell my students to train hard, but also have fun with it as well. Training drill number four. Cross hook cross, three kicks, three left kicks. Do you have any advice for someone looking to start training? Yeah, never give up. Keep going because it's a uh, you know it's ups and downs with, with any kind of training that's you know, particularly Muay Thai can be quite grueling at sometimes and you know but just never give up and keep going. Training drill number five: jab, cross, hook, right kick. What about someone currently training? Uh, currently training, keep training and try and improve your, your skill or your experience uh, as much as you can and every opportunity. Technique number one. Defense against a step up left knee followed by an elbow. So what advice do you have for someone currently competing? Currently competing, training twice a day, definitely. Um, getting enough sleep and um, listen to your trainer. Um, have a good attitude. Have a attitude's the main thing, I think, with it. You just got to keep going. And um, yeah. Technique number two: sway back from a high left kick with a uh, left kick counter.
So how important is mindset in combat sports? Mindset, very, very important. I reckon 90% of it's mind, mind, mindset going into a fight and preparing for a fight as well. What about nutrition? Uh, nutrition is very important. You, you need the fuel to be able to train to get the long hours in. So yeah, very important as well. Technique number three. Angling off with a left kick. What about conditioning? Conditioning, as in weights and everything, that yeah. kind of conditioning. Uh, yeah, definitely, as long as it doesn't get in the way of your specific training, so your Muay Thai training. So it has to come after that. Technique number four. Elbow counters. What does a typical first session look like at your gym? First session at Superfight would be eight to ten minutes skipping, um, stretching for about five minutes, shadow boxing three rounds, bag work anywhere up to ten rounds, um, clinching half an hour, pad work ten minute round each, back on the bags, 300 knees, 100 kicks, uh, sit ups, push ups, chin ups, that kind of stuff. Technique number five. Uh, elbow knee counter from a left hook. And how do you prepare a fighter for competition? Uh, preparing a fighter, well you've got amateur and you've got pro, so um, basically um, they have to be mentally ready first and we we put more pad work in, we, keep, we put more clinching in, sparring in, and we're making sure they're doing the road work in the morning as well. If they can't do the road work, they've got to make it make up doing something else. If you live in St Kilda and you want combat sports training, head down to Super Fight Gym. I got the gene of the warrior, going into fight mode. Never sleep, never keep my eyes closed. I, I, I got something to prove, and I, I, I got nothing to lose. I'm dangerous, I got the warrior gene. I'm dangerous, I got the warrior gene. I'm dangerous, I got the warrior gene. I'm dangerous, I got the warrior gene.